Hey guys, Cell here, and welcome back to some more Nikkei. Now it is Micah's banner for the final time. At least to get up to enough to be able to guaranteedly buy the New Year's event unit. Let's do it, shall we? Can we get a f an actual Christmas miracle today? Even though technically it's not Christmas for a while, but I mean, please. To wrap up the f summons for the new e for the year. Can I please get a wake up? Oh. We have Micah, and now we have every single Christmas event character from the first event and the second. Oh, thank God. I actually have Micah now. Now, now, all, all, arguably speaking, is she even a good unit? I have absolutely no clue. I mean, the fact that I haven't heard anything really about her probably doesn't really bode well for her kit. But I have her now. We finally have an SSR Micah on our account. Activates when uh, landing 120 normal attacks, affects all allies, tidying up damage taken, decreases by 1.1% by stacks up to 10 times in the last 15 seconds. Okay, that's pretty decent. I'm assuming that obviously the timer resets when she gets up to the next, you know, stack, right? I'd hope so at least. If not, then that's terrible. <laughs> Uh, activates when the cast is tidying up is fully stacked. Activates all ally affects all allies. Max ammunition capacity increases by 22% continuously. So for 15% for 15 seconds, we would get a max increase to our capacity, which is pretty nice. Uh, all right, that would be decent for Scarlet, so that she has more ammo to shoot with. That'd be pretty nice. Activates when at landing 220 normal attacks, affects all allies, increases stack count of stackable buffs by one. Wait, stack count of stackable buffs? Does that mean that this goes up to 11 times? Or just other buffs in general? Activates when entering battle, affects self, burst gauge, filling speed, increased by 120% continuously. Wait. Fills up the entire burst gauge? When she's on the battlefield. I mean, that'd be nice to get a quick burst going on for the PvP. I'll be anyone who has a full shotgun and uh, rocket launcher team can pretty much do that just as quickly, but yeah. Affects all allies. This spells one debuff and attack increases by 23.59% of caster's attack in 5 seconds. Not bad. So she's a 20 second burst 1. Alright. Yeah, some machine gun. She doesn't sound like a bad character. She doesn't sound arguably great either, but hey, we got her. And now time for the actual part of the episode, which is us going to do Milk's Bond. I'll be doing Snow Buddy, Micah, and Ludmilla's Bonds after the Christmas event is over, and after arguably that we do Prima, seeing as how I've already done Sugar, next is Milk now, and then yeah, Prima later. So at least we can get two more stories that we get to enjoy. So now let's go. We've been commissioned to retrieve something from the grove. Yes. Isn't it famous because of the intelligence facilities there? How about the pay? 
A lot. And does anyone live there? Owner, vacation, long time. Many new case, guard duty. Interesting, so that's the whole job, just go and get the thing. Many alarms, dangerous. We'll just smash them all to pieces. I won't accept that assignment. Why? I don't like stealing. Isn't this the same woman that literally wanted to steal the coffee from the people that stole the coffee uh, in the first place? She doesn't like stealing. But she was willing to steal at that point in time. Okay, sugar, okay. Huh. Me neither. And what's your reason? No good mood today. Sleep. Rima suddenly falls asleep and snores loudly. Okay, I'll just do it myself. I will take all the profit. Are you cool with that? It's up to you. Hey, pal. Are you busy today? <laughs> Look, even if I said yes, you would still drag me along, so no. And then come with me, will you? Okay. Okay, let's go. It'll feel good to let off a little steam. Is this the place? Seems like it. Whoa, how luxurious. Alright, time. Then, time to get that thing out. Piece of cake. I wish I could get assignments like this every day. Are you really going through with it? Duh. Theft is a crime. Please, stop boring me with the nonsense. This is not theft. It is performing the task that I was entrusted with. That's what we do. A job get paid. Why are you making it so complicated? Also, that thing is dangerous. It's not the kind of thing that an individual should own. We're doing the world a favor by getting it out of here. Otherwise, bad stuff will happen. I'm sure of it. You're right. Okay, then let's go. See, we're kind of doing the right thing here. Are you more willing now? Ah, that's it. The house is filled with red lights. It's filled with infrared detection devices. Strange, it looks like the uh, medical ward. I'd heard that there were a lot, but I didn't expect there to be this many. Do we need to crawl in? <laughs> That's the safest way. But I don't want to do that. Milk steps directly into the red rays. As the deafeningly loud alarm rings out, we hear the sound of approaching footsteps. What are you doing? And can't you see? A large number of mass produced Nikkei's run towards us from ahead. Let's fight. Milk claps her hands while watching the Nikkei's fall to the ground. Ah, nothing like a little combat to relieve your stress. And that's why I can't stop fighting. You just came here to fight, didn't you? Ah, uh -huh, you noticed. Why would I be interested in stealing? Well, anyway, we still have to complete the assignment. Let's get it and get out. Hmm, a safe deposit box. And this is too heavy. Plus, it's impossible to guess the code. 6969. Hmm. Ah, it's open. A large caliber gun is very handy indeed. Okay, we've got the thing. Let's go back and have a cup of cough. Oh no. Oh no. Is that a bomb? Oh, what's going on? It's a self-destruct signal. What? Smash the safe in the house will blow up? That's so crazy. Well, it is something really valuable. Run. Run. What? Is it going to explode right now? Hurry up! 
<laughs> It'll take more than this to keep me from finishing the job. We're almost to the exit. We just need to aim at the street and jump hard to get out. And jump. There is a huge explosion. I lose consciousness. Pal. Hey, are you still alive? <laughs> she dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm dead. And then help me find the thing quickly. What? But I'm dead. I literally just said I'm dead. It seems I'm blown away somewhere by the explosion. All around us is the wreckage of the building. We're in big trouble. It seems like we've lost it. That's not the only trouble we're in. ACPU is also coming. Let's retreat for now. What about the thing? Forget about it. Let's save ourselves first. If we get caught, we're going on a day trip to the rehabilitation center. Client. Furious. You're still so irresponsible on these jobs. How dare you say that, you? The client sent us a message. If we don't hurry and get that thing back, we'll get a complaint. Complaint? Fine then. Do they think I'm afraid? What makes them so great? If I die, I'll drag them along with me. Milk. Take responsibility and solve the problem. Don't ruin the scavenger's reputation. Agree. Fine. I'll take care of it. And then all of this will be behind us, right? That thing. It's been a big hit recently. And do you know where it is now? Of course, it's my job to know where things like that are. So, where is it? It's kept in the grove, at least it was. That is, until some mysterious idiot tried to break through the grove security. The grove exploded. After that, the thing was picked up by a royal citizen nearby. Where did they take it? You know, I just can't seem to remember at the moment. Pay up. Huh. Milk is a credit card to dollar. Thanks for your patronage. Whatever, now, just tell me what you know. The royal citizen who picked up the thing knows what it is. Naturally, they also understand its value. That's why, why they sold it to the dark net through a broker. The thing was sold and bought on the dark net. Now it's the victory prize of the under arena. Do you mean the illegal private Nikkei arena? Exactly. Thanks to you, the Under Arena has never seen more promising times. Countless participants want that thing. The line for it is going to be really, really long. The audience is pouring in and ticket prices are sky high. It's genius, really. Not everyone can use that thing, but it's perfect for promoting the Under Arena. They should easily earn back what they paid for it. So, when do the game start? Tomorrow, the sign-up ends today. It does. Well then, this will be a piece of cake. I can barely believe my luck. Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? It's not quite that simple. You'll need a participation ticket. They're not so easy to get your hands on right now. Can you get one for me? Well, of course. For the right price. How much have we already paid her? <laughs> Milk is looking at the under arena participation ticket. Are you really gonna do this? Why wouldn't I? It's too dangerous. Not really. It's just Nikkei's fighting against each other. No guns, just bare hands. I heard some of the participants don't survive. Of course. After all, aside from the rule against weapons, there aren't any other rules. And in case you didn't know, you're in the presence of a celebrity. 
Ta-da! I milk the Nikkei who hasn't lost a hand-to-hand -hand battle yet. My hands are deadly with or without guns in them. I have a 100% win rate and a 100% successful commission rate. So don't worry. The whole thing looks like it was made for me. I'm starting to get suspicious. Not only can I find the thing, but I can also let off some steam. I don't need to sleep today. The next day. Milk is defeated in the first round of Game 1. Are you serious? Come on, Milk. Can you just put up a, uh, a, a big front when you're actually not that great at fighting? Is that what just happened? Are you okay? No. How can I lose to a mass-produced Nikkei? Oh, that's even worse. You lost to a mass-produced one? You've still got another chance to replace a re... re a, a... What the hell even is that word? Repechage? Repechage? I have no clue. I guess you're right. As long as you don't rack up another loss, you can make it all the way to the final. I know that. Easier said than done. Alright, screw it. I give up. Who even cares about bare knuckle fighting? Nikkei's are meant to be good at shooting. What? And don't you think so? Why do Nikkei's need to be good at un un unarmed combat? It's not like we're going to t t go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Rapture. I thought you'd like a good tussle. Not really. I just use it to kill time. It's just a way to cut loose and release all the pent-up stress I have. Well, I mean, if you don't want to do it that way, I have a really great way you can do it. How's about we go have some fun? Then you'll never get the object back. So you're going to, to give up on the assignment? Huh? What are you talking about? We're just gonna go steal it again! There's an easier solution to this mission. We know where it is now, right? Someone's going to be walking out of here with that thing. Wait, you're not thinking about... We just wait until someone wins the tournament. And once they've got it, we reappropriate it for ourselves. Nice and simple. I'll get some untraceable hollow points, park myself at a safe distance, and... Snap out of it! Huh? How can you even think about doing something like that? You're despicable! Hey, did you just call me despicable? You better watch your mouth! I don't give two hoots if you're a commander. If you talk to me like that again, your ass is grass. Now take it back and apologize. What if I don't? What? I don't intend on apologizing. What are you gonna do about it? You looking for a fight? Okay. Just promise me. You won't tell the higher ups that I beat you up. You lost in the first round to... A mass-produced Nikkei, I highly doubt you can do anything to me. Why? Does that make you scared? You're the one who's the coward. I won't lose to a coward, you can bet on that. And that's it. It's go time. Soon after. I actually lost. <laughs> We're a human and we just beat up a Nikkei. <laughs> We just beat a Nikkei in hand-to-hand -hand combat? Are you kidding me? That's impossible. You're always looking for an easy way out. What? Once you fail at something, you just give up and move on to the next thing. You never have been fully diligent. That's why you lost to me just now. You're so full of it. You win one time and now you're up on your high horse. Who says I don't have perseverance? No other Nikkei's go at it like me. Then why didn't you get back into the tournament? That's because I just said there was an easier way, didn't I? That's just you running away, though. 
No, it's because you're not confident that you'll win. You don't believe in yourself. Shut up. And you don't want to apply yourself. Are you saying shut up? Follow me. What are you doing? I let go of milk and start walking. Instantly, I can hear the sound of footsteps behind me trying to catch up. What is this? This is the video of the opponent you will fight. Dollar sent it to me. Watch this so you can get some tips on how to win. And I end up losing. You'll win. What if I don't? There's gonna be hell to pay. Milk and I pour over the video for anything helpful. She's got a mean right kick and super fast. But her angle isn't quite right. If I duck my head down, I'll be able to avoid it and give myself an opening to counter. Actually, her attack patterns are pretty simple. They may look intimidating, but it's really just two combos strung together. In that case, I can throw an uppercut here. Attacks from below are easily dodged, though. I'd better start with a feint before the uppercut. We continue to study the opponent's patterns well into the morning. In her next re re page, Jesus Christ, Milk is undefeated. It's a decisive victory. Can we please agree to never use that word? Or in in this case, is that a typo? I highly doubt that they would have left a bond, you know, with a typo in it. Would they? For this long? Since Milk's been in the game since the beginning? So then it has to be a word. I'm just... Can we never see use that again? Congratulations. Save it. I was lucky, that's all. The light in the arena started to flicker and it made her blink. That's why her kick was way off at the end. Otherwise, she'd have clocked me right in the jaw. Luck and tenacity go hand in hand. You're not wrong. But still, it doesn't sit right with me. Anyway, I'm only going to get so much out of watching videos. It doesn't matter how much I train inside my head. None of it will do me any good if my body can't keep up. I want to work on this. Got any ideas? Yeah. Come on, I beat you before, right? Let's fight. Practice makes perfect. I know. Come on, we're living in a high-tech society. We can manufacture humanoid robots for goodness sake. Surely there has to be an easier way. Guess not. Old habits die hard. It's exhausting having to come up with a solution every time you encounter a problem. Let's practice. Fine. I guess no matter how you spin it, that's the only way. Okay, pal, you mimic the movements of my next opponent. You may not be as fast as her, or hit as hard, but it'll get, help me get a good grasp of fight her fighting style. So I'll have to juke to the left and then... What? What are you looking at? You look happy. <laughs> it's just... I feel like I'm slowly inching my way up over this wall. A wall that seemed insurmountable before. It's a nice feeling. A week later. The crowd goes wild. Their shouts can be heard all the way to the lounge. Milk closes her eyes. It's impossible to tell what she's thinking. Milk has been racking up one victory after another. Today she's made it to the finals and became a fan favorite along the way. Her opponent is the Nikkei who defeated her in the first round. Of course it is. Pal, this is the first time I've ever really applied myself to something. When if I was up against someone stronger than me, I'd simply avoid them. I'd use whatever low down dirty trick I could, fi could end up on top. I'd accept any assignment regardless of how difficult it would be. If I ended up getting in over my head, I'd throw a wrench in the works and blame the client. 
I didn't want to fail. I just wanted to succeed. I wanted an easy solution to everything. So I cherry-picked everyone and everything I went up against. Sure, I ended up winning every single time, but so what? If I didn't have to actually try, I would never lose. I thought I was so strong. But in reality, I was only running away. I was so upset with winning that I lost perspective on everything else. All that mattered was achieving my goals, that's why I did all those despicable things. But I don't want to be like that anymore. I feel so ashamed. It's different now. Yeah. I'm going to win this. I know I am. I'll be watching. Milk stands up with a look of determination in her eyes. She steps out into the arena to thunderous applause. <laughs> she lost again. <laughs> How did you lose to a mass-produced Nikkei twice? Come on, Milk! I lost. Huh. Are you laughing at me? Assignment completed. Congrats. You got the object back. So, did we steal it in the end? Did you suck a punch her from behind? Hey, do I look like the kind of person that would do that? I... Uh, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, but yes. I mean, you don't look it, but that's most assuredly what you were planning on doing to begin with. You didn't buy it from her, did you? It'd be a waste of money if you did. She gave it to me for nothing. She what? The only reason she joined the tournament was that she's into bare-knuckle fighting. The object was a reward, so all sorts of masters showed up. She thought it'd be a good opportunity to prove herself. And what does that have to do with you getting the object back? She was my first opponent. She said I changed a lot between our first and second fight, so she gave me the object out of respect, I guess. She also said it'd be a long time since she'd fought someone who got her blood flowing. Wait, say that again. What? You said that your blood's flowing. That's a weird way to say it, but I guess so. That could be a major system error. You better get yourself to the repair center. And do you always have to spoil the mood? Effort. Result. That's right. I may not have won, but I got where I am by fighting fair. I guess you can say that I worked hard. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Too much. Don't you think you're laying it on a bit thick? And that's it, you two. Outside now. Scissors. Rock. Paper. Milk throws rock where Sugar and Prima throw scissors. Uh -huh, did you see that? I won. No, we won. Our scissors cut through rock. Super scissors. Oh, what a load of. Get out of here and go get me some coffee. What are you talking about? Isn't the winner supposed to go get it? No, now chop chop. These rules are so random. Doesn't make any sense. This game, invalid. Okay, forget about it. Milk trapes is over to the vending machine. It's not worth arguing with you two idiots. I'll buy my own drink. Can you get me one too? Sugar coffee. And cream coffee. I knew it. It was cream coffee for Freema. Buy it yourselves, you freeloaders. <laughs> Is it an assignment? Yeah. Freema raises the phone and shows the screen to Sugar. Retrieve a file from the old data center in the outer rim. That area is now being used as a base of operations for a petty criminal gang. Dangerous. They are paying out the nose, though. Maybe worth a shot. That's a real bad area, though. 
It's practically a mini Lost Sector. Speaking of Lost Sectors, I, I need to go back and do those. This isn't a simple run and gun operation. Needed preparations a lot. You sure there isn't any other easy way? Why, it's something easier. Do you think life is always so easy? It's preparing all we have to do. Yeah. So let's prepare. Mind conversion. No, you moron. If you're always trying to take the easy way out, you'll only set yourself up for failure later on. Hard work is the one thing you can always depend on. I shouldn't have to teach you this. This kind of stuff is common sense. <laughs> Partner. Yeah? What's up? Thanks for setting her straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Yes. <laughs> I'm right here, you know. Hey, pal. Here. Milk hands me a cup of coffee. For all your help. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Drink up. I take a sip of the coffee. By the way, now that I think about it, there's one more thing that needs taken care of. What, a rematch? Seeing as how technically you did lose to me. I thought we'd close the book on this. Nope, the most important thing is left. Do you still think you could beat me in a fight? Let's have a rematch, you and I. Now? Yes, right here. What, are you scared? Why would I be scared? Uh -huh, that's the spirit. Bring it on. Soon after. What is going on? Why can't I win? Why? How can a Nikkei lose to a human? I know you like the back of my hand. I've got you your number. That's why I won. And don't be so corny. I knew it would end this way. I don't know that much about you. You've been so helpful. But I've always been so wrapped up in my own affairs. If it weren't for you, I'd still be running around screwing up assignments. Just a stupid Nike acting despicably. Always taking the easy way out. So I was wondering if... I could get to know you better. Milk is fidgeting nervously. Hey, here we go. Yes, please. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you like me? What? I... No. Well, what do you say? For you, I'm an open book. Really? You promised. No take backs. Same applies to you. I wouldn't dream of it. Milk throws herself into my arms and holds me tight. I'm not running away this time. I would never do that to you. I'm gonna work hard and get to know you slowly from beginning to end until I know everything there is to know about you. Oh, everything, huh? So, how good we are in, uh, you know, relations? So get ready. Actually, there's something that I still don't know about you. There is. That's okay, we've got plenty of time to get acquainted. Ah, uh, eh. Uh. I know now. You. Uh, at least say something before, bastard. Wait, did we kiss her? <laughs> Alright, well. We managed to beat down Milk, and because we're stronger than her, she's f f fawning over us now. <laughs> I'm assuming that's how this works. All right, we're the top dog now. I st I'm still surprised we managed to beat a Nikkei in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But all right. 
that was Milk Spawned. So now let's go see what she does when she shoots and how she talks to us. All right, here's Milk shooting. Looks nice. And now, she also has an outfit that I never actually got. Pretty decent. I feel like you get more movement in this outfit. Alright, what do you have to say when we first get you in terms of lobby? わたしの表情が気に入らないだとは。かかってこい、この穴が。兄貴、兄貴は喧嘩強い。全部まとめて ミルクコーヒーを一杯どうだ。この私が入れたレアミルクコーヒーだぞ。Why yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get dinner, shall we? <laughs> いじめるやつがいたら教えてくれよな。私が教えを聞くからよ。兄貴がどんな人なのか、もっと知りたくなるぜ。You don't want to know what my real personality is. <laughs> Although it's, it's a lot similar to how you were, pretty much. Wait, so milk coffee's on me? Oh, Alright, we get free milk coffee with milk, alright. Now, what we need is an, a giant bath of coffee. We get then put sugar, milk, and creamer in it, then we have a perfect cup, cup of coffee. Literally, of sugar, milk, and cream. Although, you know, we gotta fill the milk, the sugar, and the crema with a... Cream of power? <laughs> um, <sighs> I'll act as if I didn't just say that. This, this game brings out the uh, weird side of me sometimes. Although, when I see blonde in noir, yeah, that side stays out completely. Alright, so yeah, with that, I'm going to be ending this episode here of Bl Milk's Bond. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys next one, where we will go cream with Prima. I mean, go have fun with Prima. Maybe both. Because, you know, again, she is all about the cream. And we have a lot of it we can give her. I'll stop now. So until then, I will see you guys. I might honestly do her first before Neverland. Just saying. It'll make more sense, because at least then all three of them will be together and back to back to back, and then we'll do Neverland. Alright, and now I'll see you guys later as I go into the hot springs with Blonde and Noir. Damn, I love, <laughs> love the fact that I got this outfit. And this one too. They're both very, very nice. Yes, now and forever. I will always be with you both. 
see you guys later.